Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review and showing you some swatches on the latest highlighter palette by Lime Crime and that is the Highlight Blossoms palette following on from the Highlight Opals palette which I showed you guys a couple of weeks ago. I will link that review video for you guys below if you want to do any kind of comparison. So I got mine from Love Makeup in the UK. I think it was £32.95, something like that. And it wasn't that long ago that they released the Lime Crime Opals, as I said. Here's the Opals one, and this is the Blossoms one. As you can see, the difference in packaging. This one's a bit more bluey purpley, and this one's a bit more greeny pink. Now, what is the difference between the two I'm going to hear from some of you guys? So, the Opals one is definitely, I would say, geared more towards fairer skin tones however if you are medium or dark yes you can use it too it's just more of a preferential sort of thing whether you like your kind of more deeper shades or you tend to go towards your more fairer shades regardless of what your skin tone is now I would definitely say the blossoms one is geared more towards medium to dark skin tones but I do think that if you are fair you would be able to get away with a couple of them so it is a very messy uh, because like I said I have been using it and I've been using it quite a lot I am by the way in love with this palette this one has to be one of my favorite highlighter palettes hands down i think it's about time i think it's about time that i didn't updated uh, my top 10 favorite highlighters video let me know if that is what you would like me to do next so as you can see there are three shades all together so this one is called warm gold lavender and sunset and as i mentioned in the previous video uh, of the opals palette the quality, the texture and the types of shimmers that are in it and that sort of thing are exactly the same. This is not a glittery highlighter palette. This is very similar to Huda Beauty 3D highlighter palettes, um, Makeup Geek and Dose of Colours in that that they're not glittery and chunky they're very soft very finely milled and they give off a very very strong luminescent glow these are definitely more suited towards people who've got more textured skin such as myself because the ones which have got more glitter in it the glitter tends to accentuate those um bumpy parts of your face now not to say that this gets rid of them and hides them you can still see bits of it but these ones are definitely more flattering now personally i give this a 10 out of 10 i think it's excellent and i'm generally really really happy with this i've not only been using this on my usual pe points of my face like the cheekbone nose and cupid's bow but i've also been using them on my eyes this one here i used on my eyelid not long ago i will link my makeup look that i did on my instagram page for you guys to see but and i think was i wearing it in one of my previous videos i might have been um but i really really love this so let me just quickly do as I do and just read off their website so that I can tell you guys whether I agree with what they say or whether they're lying. Um, blah, blah. Okay, get that fairy tale glow you've always dreamed of. Eh? Uh, iridescent glow while adapting to your skin tone. So apparently these will adapt to your skin tone. I think that they do quite nicely. Gone are the days of unflattering grey highlighters that sit on top of skin. La 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 la. There are, these are full of opalescent pearls which are translucent in base. And as soon as they touch your skin, there is an eruption of colour, apparently. Well, to be fair, when, it, when you look at it in the pan, it's just kind of flat. But when you apply it to the face, you're just like, oh, wow. Inspired by the magical glow of spring blooms. They contain three highlighter shades. Silky formula melts seamlessly into the skin and adapts to your con uh, complexion. Last all day, no reapplications needed. I agree with that 100%. It definitely melts into the skin. Now, I do remember quite a lot of people mentioning in the last review about the Opals palette that it's marketed as like a holographic palette. But when they look at photos and swatches, it doesn't look holographic. Of course, it's not going to look holographic. When you're looking at a flat 2D picture, it's just going to show as it is. The whole point of these being called colour shifting is that the colour changes and the holographicness is more visible when your face moves and hits different types of light. So that is something you need to bear in mind. Now, I'm going to show you some swatches, but also remember finger swatches are not the same as brush, brush swatches. Finger swatches are very thick and very pigmented. When you apply it with a brush, it's a lot more diffused. I've been using a fan brush. I've been using all kinds of brushes you can use for these. They're very easy to apply. You only need to pick up the smallest amount, and it's very easy to pick up. 
onto the brush before you apply it to your cheekbone for example and you will see that the color melts into the skin and the glow is so intense it's amazing so if you don't like a full-on intense glow go in with a very very light hand they don't kick up a lot of powder but they do kick up a little bit so you don't waste a lot uh, whereas you do for for example Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kits quite a lot of powder gets kicked up then you end up wasting quite a bit but overall I think that these are absolutely excellent so I'm going to quickly show you some swatches of these this is warm gold this one is lavender and this one is sunset so they are absolutely gorgeous and the description is perfect for all three of them this is a lovely warm gold this is a beautiful silvery kind of lavender shade and this one is definitely more of a bronzy orangey peachy sort of deep gold and I have used all three of them and all three of them show up beautifully on me if you have got very very deep skin oh my god these are going to look amazing on you especially the lavender one it's such a unique shade to use on your skin as a highlight but it will look absolutely stunning and I would definitely say that sunset would look amazing on deep skins as well It'll really bring out the kind of warmth in your complexion just for the purposes of the video I've put the other opals palette underneath yes I know it does seem a lot more intense the colors are a lot lighter that's just one thing you have to bear in mind and I may just have pressed a little bit harder on this palette for some reason but that is not to put you off in saying that oh this one doesn't show up so much so let me get this one you will not be disappointed if I have to be completely honest I prefer the blossoms palette over the opals palette so yeah, so I'm not really sure what else I can say really. If you've got any comments or questions about this highlighter palette, please feel free to ask me below. On my lips, I'm wearing Anastasia Beverly Hills Allison Liquid Lipstick with Caramel Lip Gloss on top. I have filmed this makeup tutorial for you guys, by the way. Very nice and springy. And my Mario t-shirt is from Uniqlo. I will link it below. Other than that, I hope you guys are great and fabulous and wonderful. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.